Hello everyone, welcome to SoFlo Mall in Florial. It's so flow. It's so Let's go check it's it out. Really cool. It's almost got an old world deep charm thing. I mean like look at the doors and things. And then this really modern trendy mall. Air plants. Brian's following his nose because something smells amazing. Okay, so we're a little bit late, but English breakfast, 2.20 at this place. Eco coffee shop, and it looks great. Okay, the helpful ladies now showed me there's also French breakfast and English breakfast. So, SoFlo, your place for breakfast. And there's your choices for breakfast. And French. French, good meat. How nice does this look? And I love all the plants everywhere. They also have really good cakes and pastries looking things. Oh man, and look at the cakes. It looks like it's got chocolate brownies on top of it. Death, death by chocolate, <laughs> for sure. Swiss carrot cake? I wonder why that's different. Anyway, they also have a tea selection. Oh man, so you can actually get different types of teas. Oh man, look at this, it's like a tea station. So you can come, you can get your tea, and they've got little countdown timers, so I assume whichever one it says, that's how long you have to turn it over for. And they slowly pour in and one is three minutes, four minutes or five minutes depending on how long you like your tea to brew. <laughs> that is so awesome. Namaste, fine dining and it really is fine dining. But check it out. They have a set menu, 400 rupees on promo. And look at where you eat it. This place is beautiful. I think it might be like a buffet type thing. Dine in, eat as much as you want. Wow. Yummy. Oh, and also on a Saturday, set menu, dine and eat as much as you want as well. So Saturdays and Sundays, namaste, fine dining Indian restaurant. Oh, it's beautiful. Okay, this is the first time I've seen a dining table set like this. In a, in a shopping mall? Pretty impressive. And even this, this is a Panerotti's, but it looks completely different. It's kind of cool. This Panerotti looks different. <laughs> Ciao. It's a wood-fired Panerotti's. You see it says wood-fired. Let's go see if we can find the wood-firing thing. Here the pizza is being made. She's stretching it out. You've got the dough balls there. But the important bit is right behind her. That's the wood-fired oven. Oh man. <laughs> Okay, we're just getting your... And this is the oven, the wood-fired oven. I'm going to turn you around a bit so you can see the fire on the inside. That's the actual wood fire happening inside there. Oh, man. Oh, and she's putting one in. It's actually gone in. Ha ha! That one going in, and this is the semi-cooked one, so they're getting ready. They pre-prep pre them. What a great concept. An actual wood-fired oven at a panorama in a food court. Well, it's not really a food court. It's like restaurants, isn't it? And they're all situated around in a food area, but they actually are restaurants. Oh, and this is the KFC. This is an important KFC. They have a limited menu. So the KFC here genuinely has a limited menu, so it goes up much faster, much, much faster. It is. It's really cool. I love the wood detail up at the top. It's just they're doing something here at the Soflo Mall. They are. They're really doing something. I'm not quite sure what it is yet. We need to get more into it. <laughs> and this is the limited menu. So you've got two piece, five piece, nine piece, 21 piece, a nice bucket. 
some rounded zinger meals and some sides. I'm not sure what the name of this place is with all the beautiful plants, but it's exquisite. What a gorgeous setting. I mean, look at that. Oh, okay, there's the name, Mammy. So they do crepes and things I don't know how to pronounce. <laughs> oh, look, this one. he's actually making a crepe. It's no good. Oh, it's good. And then he's got some toppings that he's going to put on it. Yeah. How do you say the name of your place? It's a restaurant, Mum. Mum. Mum restaurant. It's for La Clé de Champ. La Peau de Champ. La Clé de Champ. Okay, but what a beautiful place you have here with all the plants and everything. Thank you. Oh man, to, to make such a big crepe must take such skill. So we have the degustation for all the crepes. Okay. Everything crepe. All right. Yeah, and you can see I, they've got the preparing the ones for. This is for the actual crepe he's making at the moment. It looks like chicken. Chicken with uh, moutard. Moutard, no? With uh, like a sauce, traditional sauce or something. Okay, so sauce, not mayonnaise. Oh, wow, <laughs> oh man, what attention to detail. Oh, oh wow. It smells amazing. Look at that. Like a wrap, but with a crepe. Yeah. Oh man, brilliant, brilliant. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you so much. You're a genius at crepe making. You're welcome. And have a look at all the plants. I just love it. I mean, Ricky's probably showing you so much, but it just feels like you're in a garden. There's a drop-off point here with some beautiful boxed flowers. So the yeah, while, while Brinks is dropping off, sorry guys, we'll do that again. <laughs> but you can drop people off here. I know this is going to sound weird, but have a look here behind me. This is a perfect example of it. It feels old school in a modern way. It's like this. You'd find this in Port Louis from the 1820s. They've got those old buildings that look exactly like this with the wooden shutters and everything. But this has been made modern by a spree. And they have a beautiful shop on the inside, but on the outside it feels like Port Louis circa 1850. Genuine wooden shutters. It's very cool. The whole place just feels like that. And have a look out there. It's trees. Yes. Oh man. J just to sum up exactly what I was saying. 1952. That's okay, it feels like 1852. I mean 1852. Obviously they didn't get the Nemo. <laughs> but they do wine. And it does look beautiful in there. There's a massive clock. So you know that it's 10 to 9, 10 to 3. Okay, the clock probably doesn't work. Yeah, I think I think that might might be the one that's that's a picture, not an actual thing. But behind me, travelators going down to the parking and the escalators going somewhere. I feel compelled to go there, but we should stay on the ground level first. Okay, we've got some fancy shops like Tommy, Tommy Hilfiger and Rolf Lawrence and... Shop, we'll show you shops. It's not Tom Trist yet, and it looks like a... One of those iClick things where you get all your computery stuff. Oh, it's quite a big store. I'm actually going to go in. Oh, and in the center we got um, some products from Rodriguez. So bags and all the lemon confits. They do have tons of stuff, but unfortunately not the stuff I was looking for. <laughs> Microphones. So you're just going to have to listen to me on this. This is the classic Pima Confit from Rodrigues. Super hot little chilies. You can get it here at Soflo. Oh, 
Oh, and some natural honey. There are loads of shops here, but in a minute, we're gonna have to do something because they're flowers. <laughs> so let's catch Ricky. Oh no, she walked too fast. We're supposed to catch Ricky with the flowers. I was attracted by shoes. <laughs> oh, there were shoes right behind her. <laughs> kind of cool. You can, you got a double story thing happening. Okay guys, you see this one? It's JCI Cure Peep. The guys are doing it, right? It is a library. But don't put your books in, please guys. What you do is you put seeds. It's a seed library. If you're growing like marigolds at home, you've got loads of seeds. Oh. So you can take your seeds from your marigolds and you can share them with someone else who's got loads of something else. And then, once you've taken the seeds, you grow the plants and then you share the seeds of those plants back with the library. Okay, awesome. absolutely brilliant. So busy looking at the seed bank. Miss Swarovski Crystal. Swarovski. Crystal. Very sparkly in there. Very, very sparkly. I'm going to slowly spring you, spring you guys around. Spin you guys around. 361. Massive 361. But the place is just so open. I'm walking in sunlight now. And then back into the shade. Got tons of shops all around. All around. And look. More plants. There are trees growing in the mall. Looks like more eating areas or something. Go oh, check it out. Trees. This is a place called Smart Box. Grab and go. We're going. Oh, there's a grab and go signs inside. We'll go have a look at it. Peanut cookies, chocolate cookies. They're 20 rupees. And look at the size of them. They're huge. Oh, oh yeah, grab and go. Okay, they've also done stuff to their muffins so they, they don't have gluten or vegans or <laughs> stuff like that. Sugar. Okay. Okay, and only 50 rupees. Whoa, that's a big. Look at all this. This is the way you grab from. Oh, such a tart that looks incredible. I really wanted to show you that blueberry cheesecake. 125, it is huge. It's a massive piece of blueberry cheesecake. All along here, they've got these things. Carrot cake. There's a carrot cake. There's donuts, there's, I don't even know what that is. Chocolate mousse in a box, 75 rupees for that. And then of course you come to, I don't know what those are. Hi. <laughs> we got the toasted sandwiches here. So you just come here, choose one, and then they'll heat it up for you. And there's so much choice here. They've got an oven where they're heating and also a press. Lamb lasagna. And a beef lasagna. And a chicken. And a chicken lasagna. <laughs> And then they heat it up for you, I suppose. I know this is going to sound weird, but this feels like fast food made really healthy. So they've prepared it all and they just heat it up for you. Brilliant idea. Grab and go, grab and go. Smart box. <laughs> and then they also have specials like chicken curries and stews. Wow, I've never seen a place like this before. I suppose once you've got your smart box grab and go, you can actually come out here. They've got trees growing. All the way from down there. Wow, it's quite a long way down there. And the trees come up here and on the other side. Like balcony trees. Oh man. This is cool. You might think that is cool, but did you see the mountains behind? No, I didn't. Can you even get them? Look at that view. What a gorgeous moor. So if you don't want to go to Smart box, which is there and come each year. We do have a massive intermark. There's a huge intermark right here where you can also get things. Ah, uh, samosas and focaccias and I'll show you. Spring rolls, samosas and a focaccia for 50 rupees. Oh. Look at these cheese twisters. Cheese twisters, what are the cheese twisters? Like a, a breadstick. Brian's getting a cheese twister. I stupidly bought one of the cheese twisters, but I, I got the packet. I should have said no. Always yeah. refuse. Oh, it's actually made with a warm. It's warm. Yeah. Let's move away from the wind. It's a cheese twister. We're just dying to know what it is. Is it a piece of bread or has it got cheese oh. in it? It's like a breadstick. It's a breadstick? Yeah. So if you're Italian looking for your breadsticks. Mmm. Mmm. Wow, bread. 
a little bit cheesy. <laughs> guys are surprisingly more cheesy than you think. The more you chew it, the more cheesy it gets. I'm not quite sure how that works. This is the veggie quiche, which we are getting. We'd prefer the chicken one, but <laughs> it's all sold out, so get you early. So what you do is you order your stuff, he gives it to you, and he gives you a ticket to give to the cashier. How is it? So I'm off to pay. Unboxing. Oh wow. What's amazing is that it's only 30 rupees. 30 rupees for a whole quiche. And it's quite big. Let's see if we can get into it. Gotta get it out. It's actually warm. Wow. Oh, it looks great. Oh, she, she didn't even sniff it. I thought she was gonna sniff it, but she just took a big mouthful. Mm. Let's have a look on the inside. Oh, there's oh, stuff. It's creamy. Mm. Oh wow. That's really nice. Good Great. quiche. Oh man. Try some. Oh, I'm gonna try some. Mm. It's nice, mm. eh? Mm -hmm. I knew you'd like that. It's so creamy. Yeah. It's like got a sauciness mm. to it. Mm -hmm. Really, really nice. Well done, guys. Oh, this is a really good quiche. I love their recipe. Well, Seriously. Exactly. It's like a a cheese sauce with vegetables and a pastry. Yeah, and it's only 30 rupees. This is really good. It is really good. Mm. Mm -hmm. It is creamy, tasty. It's got like spinach, onion, cheese sauce. Can you see that? I know there's not much left because we devoured it. I think we should get another one. <laughs> Absolutely amazing. This is top Ricky recommended must eat food. Smart box. It was fast. It was sort of healthy and it was so young. Plus, and cheap. And cheap. What a great concept shop. We'd love to try some more good things. Definitely, definitely going to try more. But they're actually selling houses here. They've got some houses for sale on the wall. Oh, it's like a barn. <laughs> We're going to take a lift. We're going to see if we can take a lift because we need to go down to the cart place and they've got something in the car. We'll go there. Put it on it. Oh, the lift is right. Lift out. Uh, we have to go all the way to the bottom, so B2. Pretty way. <laughs> oh, it's not closing. Now we go in the lift. Have you guys ever been in a lift with me? It's a lot of fun. Oh, right, here we are. That was kind of... That was kind of disappointing, but here we are. Lower level 2. There is more parking here, so you can actually come and park on lower level 2. You don't have to park on the first layer where there's absolutely no parking. There is also underground parking. Very limited parking outside in this beautiful garden setting. But there's underground. This is the level two underground parking. As you can see, there are tons of people coming in. So it probably does fill up quite quickly. For buying the seed things, so you plant your flowers. Ah, harvest the seeds. Try not to let them pop everywhere. Oh, this one's not ready yet. Oh, there you go. The seed library. So coming in from the, the parking and then up to the you can walk in and there's the clock up there so walking in here and there's some beautiful art and and look at it it's like bicycle tires tires spokes wheels as the chandelier oh man and then of course a travelator. So you come off the main road and there's this tiny little outside parking and then you can drive around and drop off people. I suppose like if you're a taxi or you've got passengers that don't want to walk or you can park underground. And then this is a gorgeous slow flow shopping mall. It is really unique. 
Okay, new fact, just in the travelator actually gets a little bit steeper, so when you're standing on it, you actually lose your balance a little bit. <laughs> it's quite interesting. We got Ricky on the escalator. This is our attempt at thumbnail. Take one. I'll try to get her on the side so you can get more stuff. Okay, now I'm gonna try to catch her. So we can get close. Oh no, it's too bright behind her. <laughs> but maybe there was one down there below. But she's going up the escalator anyway, so turn around, Rick, turn around. Gratuitous butt shots. <laughs> this whole wall says Paul 1889 1889 and there's the actual Paul's so I think it might have been a restaurant before but now it's closed but you can still get your Paul's stuff here Probably a bakery behind yes maybe it's bakery <laughs> wow look at all the stuff that they have here oh man oh and they also have the baguettes you can you can check the prices out on those uh-huh and a quiche you can get a quiche tomato and mozzarella and aubergine ch 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 chef <laughs> food court style seating here for the falls but i'm just going to swing you guys around they also have a place in here so you can come in and whoa slight step down and sit in a nice place like this where you can look over the trees great garden setting Oh man, this place is amazing. And there are the tables and chairs. But they also have a place here. Gorgeous coffees. Professionals. Okay, it does look like there are more toilets here on the second floor. I must say it's quite nice with these like wood panels and things. Massive mirrors. Awesome. Bed over there, this is our escalator. But there's a place called Treasures. Treasures, Chinese restaurant. There's a big Chinese restaurant here. We're going to have a quick squiz. This is Treasures Chinese restaurant. Quite appropriate because of the time of year we're in. I did notice this. Dim sum brunch every Sunday. They have a brunch from 11.30. And they have all these dim sums. Oh, wow. You're going to have to book. They say book on. And barbecue roasts. And barbecue roasts. Because oh, nobody likes a barbecue. Everyone must roast there. Yeah, everyone has to roast their barbecue. Stupid barbecue. <laughs> oh, I get it. I finally get it. Roast. She means like roast where you make fun of, not roast where you cook. <laughs> Brilliant, Rick. So it is quite a beautiful place in here. Yeah, they got like nice tea setups. Great looking, comfortable chairs. Definitely gonna have to check out that dim sum barbecue. Dim sum what? Dim sum. Dim sum brunch. Dim sum brunch and a barbecue roast. And a roasting. <laughs> it's like karaoke. But like with dim karaoke but with dim sum. <laughs> oh wow, it's not bad. <laughs> and if you happen to park all the way on the ground floor, right at the bottom layer two below, you actually come all the way and the lift leads right here to treasures. Footage, right? Escalator thumbnail take two. Let me just try to get it. Whoa, whoa. Point at the clock. Oh no, now I'm going pointing downwards. This doesn't help. I was hoping to get the clock behind you. Uh -huh. <laughs> this is actually a vesty one. I've seen one before somewhere. And they're really big clothing shops. You might actually go in and have a quick look. But look at this, it's a foot pedal. And it actually worked. She pushed her foot and she actually got sanitizer. That's keeping it sanitized. Oh, they have really cute clothes. Hi, guy. There's quite a big guy section as well. Lots of funky guy stuff and flashing lights. <laughs> They always got a mirror, but look what it popped out of it. Yeah, <laughs> it's Ricky. Seriously, interesting clothes. And they're all like organized by color. It's really cool. Vesty one, because I didn't get it in the beginning. So hopefully I'm getting it now. 
And Ricky really likes it. He really thinks it's a great shop. Really cool. Everything's in different colors. It's like Toby's just from top to foot. No, it's like... It's not cookie cutter. Not cookie cutter. There we go. Oh, this is the spa village. It's like a hairdresser. Oh, there's stuff in the back. I think that's where the spa is in the back. Mm. Oh, it's at 12 o'clock. Well done. Spa village. Your clock works. <laughs> the center's one doesn't. Ah. We'll have to come back and see if the clock is stuck on point. Yeah, no, we're going to have to do that. Another clock is right. Oh, and this is a bikini. A bikini bar. But you have to call them. This is a SoFab. It's paint. Yes. Paint. Wow, this is a fantastic store. I mean, we've left all the paint behind us because I really wanted to show you this stuff on this side. This is like a boardroom table, and the smell in here is great. It smells like fresh wood. But all the stuff that they have here, it's so funky and cool. And this was the art installation Ricky was trying to show you from outside with the paintbrushes. What a great concept! They're all different colored paintbrushes. Oh man. And look, there's a Ricky behind. <laughs> but she's not the mirror. <laughs> this is a really beautiful sew flap store. I can see that you get a lot of inspiration if you came here for your paints. And here in the uh, Florial area, sew flap is doing a lot of good with uh, sponsoring painting walls and putting wall murals. We'll try to find some for you. Oh, it's Ricky. <laughs> Samba. And their back wall looks awesome. They've got all these paint lids with the different colors in it. It's like real art. Inspiration, yes. <laughs> oh, wow, that is so cool. Come, come, come. Refuse. Rethink. Rethink. Reduce. Reuse. Repair. Repurpose. Recycle. Awesome. It looks like they've got an eco hub here, which means that they'll sit around this table and give things new life. Brilliant, well done, SoFap. Oh wow. The creative upcyclers of Mauritius. I've actually got them on the wall here. So people doing conscious fashion and decor. Oh, I'm gonna check all these guys out. Did you see the door behind you? Oh, oh wow. You can tell that. Pretty sure. It is, you can tell. That's so cool. Oh man. I just love this place. I wish they had like a coffee shop in here. It is so super cool. And it really sums up what SoFlo Mall is. It's old, new, trendy, awesome. The center has these relaxation nooks all over the place. Uh, and they have the little bit of green carpet and you can just sit in and relax. Wow. It's pretty, it's closed, but... It says cheap furniture, but it's not. It's all... Oh. Must be somebody new moving in. Looks super cool in there, can't wait. Over there in the distance is the Doppler radio, radar on Shore's Earth. And it's currently telling you it's going to rain. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to take off in the parking lot. We're not using Ricky's recorder. Okay, so this is SoFlo. It's quite a small place, but it's really interesting. And it's full of trees. Oh, look at the mountains behind. It's gorgeous. Oh, it really is. I'm going to swing you around a little bit so you can see where we are. There we are. That's Tuo Surfs. Tuo wow, awesome. Surf. I really wanted to fly over this place. We'll move forward a little bit. Whoa! And now we're coming back because he's scared. <laughs> <laughs> oh, not so close to the dream. <laughs> there we are. That's that's me. That's Ricky waving at him, and we're landing. Grab him, Rick. Grab and run. <laughs> wow! So flow Mall. What a great place. <laughs> well, anyway, everyone, thanks for watching. 
and we'll see you again next time. This is me walking away. Now I'm on an escalator. <laughs> it's still 10 to 3. <laughs>